Hi there, I am Giuseppe Crocella from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review Abacus by Orchestral Tools. First of all, I want to thank Orchestral Tools for kindly sending us a copy of the library to review. Abacus is a library created in collaboration with the composer and multi-instrumentalist Richard Harvey. It features 42 instruments plus a wide-ranging percussion ensemble recorded with five mic positions, including vintage spot mics. Many of the included instruments were designed for children. It includes musical boxes, uh, tune percussion such as uh, handbells, kalimba, xylophones, wind instruments like recorders, whistles, melodica, plucked instruments like ukuleles, toy pianos, uh, and percussion like uh, gyros, uh, castanets, uh, hood blocks, uh, and bongos. Recorded at SML Studio Surrey in London, it usually sells for 189 euros plus VAT and size is 19 gigabytes compressed. You can also purchase the instruments separately and it runs in the free sign player. The library comes with seven folders and each folder includes the instruments of the category the folder itself is about. The most part of the instruments comes with some articulations and you can switch between them via key switches. Anyways, if you like to work with one articulation per track, you can still load them separately. The engine is the common sign player engine and in this tab you have the five mic positions spot, spot vintage, close, ambient and room. You can mix together as you like.
This is definitely an interesting library. I like how it's focused on so peculiar instruments and that there are many of them. It's a very complete product on this topic. The sounds themselves are amazing and the mic positions let you explore even more sounding possibilities. The close and spot mics are quite dry and the vintage mic adds a touch of more ancient and less clear tone. I think it's a very good library for many purposes, especially if you want to write something related to the fantasy world or to the childish world. But also you can try to work with these instruments also for dark and horror music or for layering uh, with other uh, instruments, uh, keeping them uh, less or more present in the mix. It's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to support virtual orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it, or even if you are a pro and pro looking to improve your skills, we offer practical lessons about virtual orchestration, mock-up programming, how to use Dorico Sibelius, Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.